It's not a bug, it's a feature. What's going on guys, it's Nate here, and Skyrim's not exactly known for its stability. Released in 2011, even by those standards, it was a little rough around the edges, if you will, as the game's engine simply wasn't prepared for a project quite that size. And while some bugs may make us want to pull our hair out, others, if occurring at the right moment, can put quite the smile on our face as we laugh at the sheer absurdity. So today, in honor of that, we're going to be taking a look at five hilarious glitches in The Elder Scrolls V. Starting off, chickens are a very interesting creature in Skyrim as is. They're pretty adorable and mostly mind their own business. Found on farms, these animals are fiercely protected by the humans who live alongside them. Simply shouting at one can cause an entire village to take up arms against the Dragonborn. However, thanks to an error in the script that spawns them in, on very rare occasions, the player has the chance to encounter certain chickens that probably don't need humans protecting them. Every time a chicken spawns in, there's a very small chance its scale and size will glitch out, resulting in a giant chicken being born into the game. These beasts aren't particularly different behavior-wise when you compare them to their normal size counterparts, as thankfully their stats will not scale with their size. So these gargantuan chickens have the same low health and slow movement as their small counterparts. Regardless, that doesn't make it any less puzzling to encounter one of these in the wilds. I actually have an old Skyrim save on my Xbox 360 of when I first came across one of these. I was both horrified and mildly confused. Lucky for Skyrim's grain supplies, running into one of these things is extremely rare. I've probably only had the pleasure a couple of times over the course of thousands of hours, so don't expect this to happen too often. Likewise, many players have reported encountering a similar glitch, in which the size of normal human NPCs is also either considerably increased or decreased. However, I've yet to come across one of those just yet. Next on our list, weddings are a unique time for the people of Skyrim. Amidst a horrible civil war and potential apocalypse at the hands of dragons, weddings are one of the few times the player, and their new spouse and some guests, can actually celebrate something. As you probably know, when the player has a wedding ceremony, various NPCs will attend based off of the quests you've completed and friends you've made. It's a nice dynamic that makes the ceremony feel that much more immersive. But evidently, some guests won't let the greatest of inconveniences stop them from giving you some support. During the player's wedding, there's a good chance that any follower you've previously had who was somehow killed while in your service may have their corpse spawn in the wedding ceremony amongst the rest of the audience. Now, aside from being a little bit creepy, unlike the others on this list, the presence of a body can actually be quite disruptive, as it can cause the marriage quest to fail and really mess up what should have been the happiest day of your life or second happiest, if you know how it feels to kill Ulfric. For a third spot, we have a pretty popular bug that we've all probably encountered, but no less definitely deserves a spot. I am of course talking about Skyrim Space Program. Should the Dragonborn, or any other creature, be killed by the swing of a giant's club, there's a very strong chance that due to some not-so-proper physics in Skyrim's engine, that poor being will be sent flying to Mars, much to the jealousy of Elon Musk. Now, amusingly, Bethesda had patched this glitch shortly after Skyrim's release. It was fixed and removed from the game. However, much of the community was actually mad at Bethesda and demanded the glitch be brought back. I know, Bethesda just can't win, right? Well, ultimately, the developers decided that they agreed with the community and brought the glitch back into the game. Though they did tweak the frequency of which it occurs to happen a little less often, as to not frustrate people. Honestly, I think the bug itself and story behind why it's still in the game is pretty hilarious and appreciate the chance to get such amazing views. At number 4, buying your first home in Skyrim is a nice moment of pride. Property in Tamriel costs a pretty penny, and also requires you to be a thane of whatever hold you wish to purchase a house in. But once such obstacles are cleared, you're free to settle down. Once a house is purchased, you're also given the opportunity to customize it to a degree, however you please, adding in alchemy stations, bedrooms, pretty much any furniture you can imagine. But, if you decided to decorate your home with a mannequin, or mannequins, you may be setting yourself up for a little bit of a surprise. As whenever you enter a home with a mannequin inside of it, you may find what should be these inanimate objects moving around freely on their own intuition. Additionally, whenever you enter your home, they may also be in different locations or positions than they were when you left, which, in my opinion, is even scarier. This paranormal activity-like nonsense occurs because mannequins are actually just normal Nord NPCs, with a different texture and handful of scripts coded in to dictate their statue-like behavior. But, evidently, whoever's job it was to code those scripts must not have been feeling it that day at work, and oftentimes they break causing mannequins to revert to acting like normal human NPCs. But, uh, 
No one else needs to know that. And before we get to our final spot, as an honorable mention, we have another glitch that's pretty well known and got patched only for Bethesda to bring it back after community outcry. And that is, should the player place an object over an NPC's head, they'll be oblivious to any mischievous actions that you take around them. This is especially exploitable in shops, where NPCs will remain still enough for you to engage in all sorts of shenanigans. And finally, last on our list, horses have never been known for their tendency to abide by the laws of physics in Skyrim. However, should the player head over to Skyborn Altar near Morthal, you may notice a dragon resting on a perch that'll shoot into the sky and attack when approached. However, if you sneak up behind this beast on a horse and proceed to jump on top of him, as the dragon begins to fly away, you'll remain on its back for a short period of time, with your trusty steed, before being slingshotted in any given direction. The amount of airtime you have as well as distance you cover will vary quite considerably. And do keep in mind this can lead to some major frame loss, as you'll be going over so much land that the game needs to render in, it'll take up some processing power. Your lovely suspension in the stars will ultimately end up climaxing in one of two ways. Either you humorously crash into a mountain or something, or you never actually touch the ground at all, as the game's physics engine struggles to keep up, and you ultimately just end up being stuck in the sky. This can make for some pretty funny screenshots, but can become an annoyance, as it'll force you to reload a previous game save in order to dismount. This entire process is fairly easy to pull off, and I encourage you to try it out for yourselves. You should be able to get it within your first to third tries at most. But with that, we are going to wrap up. Which of these was your favorite, if you will. And what absurd glitches have you encountered that you'd like to share? Leave a comment down below. Additionally, if you'd like to protect yourself from glitches that aren't quite as amusing, I would highly recommend downloading the unofficial Skyrim patch. It's a mod across all platforms that really accomplishes quite a bit. I'll include a link in the description down below. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, like ratings are, as always, very much appreciated. I hope to catch you all in my next video. Peace out, everyone.